Okay, so let me show you my peas. Let me show you a little problem I'm having with my peas and what I am doing to correct it. Well, first of all, my wife came through here yesterday and picked uh, probably uh, a half a bushel, something like that, and found a lot of these peas that are, uh, not a lot, she found some of these peas that have this little fungus on them. Just a little bit of a fungus. I saw one over here that had a little bit more, seems like. I don't know where it went. Now these are uh, these are purple hull. These are top pick purple hull peas. And as you can see, then the name implies that you pick on top, and that's where all of these are making pretty much. Uh, you don't have to bend over hardly at all. There's few close to the ground, but most of them, as you can tell, are making at the very top of the plant, and make them real easy to pick. I'm sure they were developed like this for machinery to pick just so much easier for a machine to come in and pick. There's one there. Just got some fungus on it. Of course it, you know, it's not any good anyway, but uh, so anyway, she asked me what it was, what I could do about it. I, uh, a month or two ago from, from uh, House Tools got some uh, uh, a fungus spray for this very occasion. Uh, I heard uh, the House boys talking about it and uh, several months ago and then uh, Went ahead and bought it, and look at those. Why don't you just look at the peas that are making right here. And I'm telling you what, these aren't just little dinky pods. I'll show you here in a minute, one with a tape measure. There's another one with the fungus on it. And it just, it messes up, you know, otherwise a good pod. And I know it's because we've had uh, these are kind of funky looking. I know it's because we've had uh, some wet, wetter weather, wetter weather than we what we normally have. There's one on the very end with a little funk on it. First of all, if y'all know what that is, tell me what it is. It's just, a, I know it's a fungus, but there's, uh, I think there's a name for it on uh, peas and beans. And then uh, let me show you what I'm doing to get rid of it. But I did want to show you the peas. I mean, you just look down through there and just see how loaded those peas are. Now, I've got some. I've got some insects on them. I got some wasp stink bugs on them. That uh, leaf-footed thrip or leaf-footed something. And uh, they're drilling some holes in them. There. Let me see. There you go. Kind of got a hole in it, you know? Like you just come out there with a drill, drill a hole in it. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, except I'd, I'd cut it off, break it off right there, and then eat the rest of it. But uh, I just want you to look. I'm going to get a tape measure and show you some of these pea pods and how long they are. That one there has got to be 13, 14 inches. I've got bugs buzzing around me right now, some wasps and also some some of those, uh, I call them stink bugs. And, uh, but I mean, just some huge, huge pods. Those are big, I mean, filled out nice. She picked a good mess yesterday. She'll need to pick again tomorrow. And uh, hopefully the, the zippers will do well and we can get some of those too. So let me show you what I'm gonna do about the spray, show you what I'm using, and show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about using on it. It's a Fungi Max or a Fungi Max or a Fungi Max. I'm a fun guy, so that may be what we'll call it. <laughs> Fungi Max from uh, Monterey, I get it from Haas. It says the recommended rate is one ounce per gallon for peas. 
And there's a little trick that I use. I do it all the time. I'll ride on there. Now this one I think was a half ounce for tomatoes. I'll have to re -look, look that up again. But whatever the recommended rate is, I write it in permanent ink, in this case, paint pen on the bottle itself. Because if you've ever tried to read one of those labels, first of all, they're so dang small, you can't read them. Secondly, they're so confusing. So if I find a recommended rate, I write it on the bottle, whether it's uh, herbicide or insecticide or whatever. I'll write it on the bottle or the jug, the recommended rate. I always keep a measuring cup or two or five in the barn. This is one I use for things such as this. I put two ounces in it. There's the two ounces. And I have uh, emptied it into this two gallon sprayer. So we're gonna fill it up and spray. Okay, so we got her all mixed up and I'll just start spraying down the road. It says uh, spray to the point of runoff, you know, sp spray them good. So I got it sprayed. I, I didn't, it says to the point of runoff and you know, the, some of it I'm sure ran off, uh, but I didn't put it on maybe as thick as I should have. And it could be that they want it to run off because they want the, uh, the fungicide to get down on the roots too. Maybe that, you know, maybe that's helpful. I don't know, but uh, got it done. I'll let you know how it turns out. If we still have, you know, continue to have those funky little fuzzy little peas and if not then it worked and i'll let you know so you can uh, do the same thing if you have uh that sort of problem in your pea patch but uh if you've if you've experienced this before and, and i have to I, every year i get this uh, fungus on the peas but i've never done anything about it so if you uh have this type of problem sometimes on your peas and if you've corrected it if you know what you're doing and um and have uh, have remedied the situation, have fought it and won, uh, let me know in the comments below, please. And, uh, and if you're growing peas this year, let me know how yours are doing. These are looking pretty doggone good. I'm pretty pleased. All right, I'm about peed out. <laughs> We're gone.